A little while ago, I published a video on a refactoring, a very interesting uh, topic. It's pretty much about a joke I found on the Reddit. You probably have already seen that. So uh, I got a lot of comments on the um, on this video. Uh, it's a very interesting topic, like compare the performance code and uh, the refactoring or clean code. People are not necessarily agree with me uh, on the cleanness of that code. But anyway, I'd like to share some of my thoughts in this video. So uh, let's get started. Let's say I have a list of users, which roughly a thousand record. I downloaded that from the fake JS or something like that. So each item in the list represents a user. It has ID and its name, uh, the role, experiences, and uh, location. So let's say one day a product owner asked me to write a simple program to extract or filter this uh, list of users to find all the engineer roles. Also, he wants all the senior um, engineers. By senior, I mean the experience is bigger than three. So if I found any matches in the list, I need to field all the location because on the UI, we don't show a now instead we will show some other fallback like a not available or you know some other placeholders so i need to write a program to finish all these two tasks one feed out all the senior engineers and two uh, do the location feedback and uh, after a few minutes i had some code like this one so it accepts a user list as an input and it will return a user list, the filtered list or map the uh, user list as the output. So essentially it will uh, integrate each user and check if the user experience is greater than three and the role is engineer. If it does, we will push uh, a new atom. Uh, the location will be, if the location is now, we put an NA, otherwise we use that uh, location, whatever it is and push that into a results um, list. And then at the end, we will return these results. It's pretty straightforward and uh, easy to read as well. It's readable and it's working perfectly. Uh, and I showcase this to the product owner. He's pretty happy with the result as it's working, but I'm not happy with the structure. Uh, the reason is I think it's mixing a lot of um, concerns or a lot of abstraction in a, in a same place. We are mixing the for loop here. So we need to worry about the index that we are getting the correct index of that user. And then we have this uh, if else checks and uh, if it's now or not checks. And we assign the value only when it's fit it meet to some particular criteria. To understand this code snippet, we have to like jump into the for loop, the iteration, uh, logic to the actual business logic and then we need to jump into the ar um, the array the array operation like the push and then we will have to think about the other logic like if it's now or not it's mixing a lot of concept in the same struct and then I decide to extract a few more functions like so so um, I define a function called is senior engineer. This function accepts a user and it will check if the user experience is greater than three and if the role is engineer. If it does, that's a senior uh, engineer. And then I decide I define another function called fill blank location for user. Again, it's it's um accepting user as an input and if the user uh, location is now we I will, um it will returns the user uh, and the location will be uh, not available and uh, otherwise it will otherwise it will it returns whatever the past in user so it's pretty straightforward function and for checking location by now we simply say location if location is now that means there's no location but it might not always the case maybe uh, it's it's really it depends on the data we get. Maybe it's uh, like a, in some cases we don't have the location at all. Like uh, if the location is undefined, 
that will be treated as no location as well. Um, so that will give me the flexibility here, but it's not the case for now. And then the transform user will tend to be one liner. The users uh, will be filtered by this criteria, which is abstracted function. And the, after that, I will map the final. Uh, and after that, I will map the list to a new shape of the list, which has a location that ready for rendering on the UI. In my opinion, the new structure is much more readable. Even it looks a little bit less performant than the previous one, because for the future it need to do one iteration and the map will do another. So if the list is you know is too large, it might have some performance issues. But it turns out not a big issue. I run this. Um, I did a benchmark for these one thousand uh, records. The the difference will be like a point one milliseconds. So I don't think that's a big issue in most cases. Um, as in the front end, you you don't always have to deal with like a thousand of records. If that's the case, maybe you need to reconsider the uh, the the amount of data. Maybe introduce a pagination or you know cache in the back end. Um, I don't think it's a it's a big issue. And in addition, performance tuning is all about understand the code first and then do the a bottleneck check and then you fix a performance issue. But if you can read the code easily or understand the purpose uh, easily, how can you do the performance tuning, right? So for me, I would go with the approach that easy to understand, easy to maintain, even if it's, it's slightly slower, especially for the hardware today we're running our application. Like uh, in a mobile phone, it's much faster than a average computer in a you know like a, a few years back and that's all i have for today if you have any other ideas please comment below please let me know if you have different challenges in your application maybe you found the uh, the obstruction is not uh, a bad option for your case please let me know as well in the comment and uh, i will see you in the next video